Okay, so this is the video for the facial at home kits. Yes, I look a complete stay. Um, it's been a stressful week. <laughs> Plus I've got no makeup on. Um, so this is if you've purchased the facial at home kit, you'll have these instructions as well. So we'll literally be going um, through it, maybe in a little bit more detail for you. Um, so ideally you want to be in a quiet place. Hopefully none of my kids are getting caught right now. Um, you need to be in a quiet place and have everything with you. I've given you everything in your packs. You just need some warm water and um, a hot cloth or flannel to use to remove um, the products. Okay, so we're gonna start off by using cleanse. Okay, use your spatula. And we're gonna take out around half of this with the spatula, put it into the palm of your hand. Okay, just put them to one side. Okay, warm the product. Oh, it smells amazing. And put it onto your face, all over, and the neck. And work the product into your skin. You can use sort of any massage movements here. You're just working it into your skin to completely remove any traces of makeup, which obviously I have none on. Um, dirt, debris, grease, grime, stress. <laughs> um, just get it all in there. The product should feel nice and warm now on the skin. And it almost changes from a cream into a bit of an oily milk. And then start moving your strokes very firmly outwards. <clears throat> what this process does is any toxins that are lying under your skin, specifically in your lymph system, if you've been poorly or stressed or you've had a heavy night, toxins are going to be in the skin, under the skin, and we need to push them out into our lymph nodes, which are all the way around our face and in our neck. If you're hormonal like me and you have plenty of spots, again, do this on these unless they're painful. If they're painful, don't go over them. Just gently rub but don't focus too much attention. And for the neck, we go upwards. Okay, and again, moving that out to the face. Now, every cleanse you do in normal life is not gonna be this long, because we haven't got time, and I haven't got the patience. But this is a home facial, so we're trying to give your skin and your face a real boost, okay? So, the product has now gone into like a if you can really see that, like a shiny film. It's ready to be taken off. So some warm water with your clean hot cloth. And just remove. And my cloth looks disgusting because it's been bleached in the wash, but it's clean, I swear. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to second cleanse, so there we go, and repeat. Now your second cleanse doesn't need to be as long as your first. This is to ensure everything is off the skin. But like I said, this is more of a pampering facial rather than, you know, whip it off sort of facial. It can be if you want. Okay. Okay, and let's take that one off because we are going to come on and do some facial massage in a bit so we don't want to be overworking. Okay, and again, just wipe that off. Okay, looking glam. 
Okay, um, so now we need to pat our face dry for the next stage to actually work. Um, so you can do this with a towel or you can do this with some tissue. So I'm just gonna pat my face dry. Okay, so your face should be quite dry to touch now. You're gonna get out the peel, okay? Using spatula, put the whole pot onto your hand, or as much as you can get out. This is a gel. It's called a peel because it does take off the top layer of dead skin cells. It's not a chemical peel, it's an enzyme exfoliant. Um, I'll explain what it does as we go through. So just, you don't need to warm it in your hands, I've literally just swiped it so it's on both hands. And then you're just gonna literally, we're not rubbing this in, we're just applying it almost like a mask onto the face. You don't need to put this near your eyes, okay? Okay. And that's it. We don't want to keep rubbing away at that whilst it's um, before it's worked. So rinse that off your hands. Okay, so the enzyme peel is a liquid exfoliator. You've probably heard me talk about these. <coughs> they are like a liquid, obviously. They're less abrasive than a scrub. So whilst I'm talking to you now, we're going to be leaving this on for up to two minutes, maybe a bit less. Um, if it starts to tingle, take it off. It shouldn't be tingling. Um, you shouldn't really feel anything, to be fair. This just is now breaking down the top layer of your dead skin cells. Um, it's very clever the way it works, because you know it doesn't hurt, it's not abrasive, your skin shouldn't be red or anything. Um, and it's just working now. I mean, I can't feel it, but it is. Um, it's not quite ready yet. When this is ready, You've had it on the same time as me, I'll, you, I'll, yours will be ready when mine's ready. Okay, but when it's ready, what we do, we don't take this off with a hot cloth because we wanna see the amount of skin that's coming off and see what's happening with our skin. Um, so in a moment, we shall rub circular motions onto the skin and you'll start to feel bits and see lots of white little bits coming off. That is dead skin, it's amazing. Um, so we'll, we'll get all that off and then we will use the hot cloth to remove any residue. So what you want it to feel like, it's not quite ready, you can see, oh gross, bits of skin here. Um, you don't want it to feel wet to touch, it needs to feel not dry but just tacky. So we'll give it a bit longer. Oh, as if I'm putting this video on YouTube, looking this rough all to help you people. <laughs> Nearly ready. So yeah, um, I might as well talk about the YouTube channel, haven't I? So my previous video mentioned we're having some guest speakers. So we will be having some guest speakers come on um, and they'll be talking about their sort of um, expert areas. So. I've already mentioned, haven't I? So we've got meditation and personal trainers, nutritionists, stylists. I really can't wait for the stylist one. Um, I'm hoping she, I think she's a bit nervous about doing a video, so I'm hoping she does, because um, I really need to sort my wardrobe out. <laughs> so I'm gonna copy her. Um, but yeah, so since um, since I closed the salon, which when I've made this video, it was only yesterday, I only closed it yesterday, which was Saturday the 20th of March. Um, it was so emotional, I was really upset. But the more and more I read about coronavirus and how serious it is and how it's rapidly infecting people, it was such the right decision to make. You know, I think it would have been irresponsible of me to stay open and see people and touch people even with my gloves on, you know, it's just not not cool. So, um, I am feeling upset, but I'm also thinking, you know, we're all in the same boat and we all just need to support each other. So, my face is feeling tight. Okay, let's get rubbing. Okay, so you don't need to rub hard. Oh, skin, gross. Um, this is so good though, because this is gonna reveal glowing, 
fresh skin cells, okay? Ugh. Okay, so what we want to do is try and get it all off. Oh, that is rank, isn't it? It is also amazing though. Okay. And with the painless peel, you could use this anywhere, to be fair. You know, you could, uh, I don't know if you've got, a lot of people have um, acne and dry skin and clogged pores on their back or the shoulders. You could try, if your husband's very uh, nice, he could try and do it for you <laughs> or not. Okay, we have got gross bits of skin coming off here so just get that all in the sink <laughs> okay and when it's very very dry we don't want to keep rubbing but obviously there's still bits on the face so you're gonna rinse out your hot cloth wash your hands so again nice warm water i'm just putting on my skin down the sink <laughs> okay and you're just going to gently wipe off any residue. Okay. Still looking rough, but actually my skin looks quite nice now. Okay, so. That's off, dried my hands. Moving on to the nice bit. Well, it's all nice actually. I'm not doing anything horrible. We've got a pot of oil, so we just took the lid off. I don't think you need all this. I've probably put a bit too much in. So just pour into your hand, probably half, maybe three quarters. If you can see it. Oh, it's gonna drip. Okay, rub it into your hands, warm that product through. Yes, it's got an orange tint to it, so. If you're wearing a white top, hopefully you got your pyjamas on like me. Um, yeah, just be careful. Okay, so that's all on my hands. Okay, and this is um, a facial oil, so you're not putting like chip fat on here. <laughs> this is actually designed for the face, so nobody panic. Um, but we're just, so we've revealed fresh new skin, haven't we just? And this oil is now nourishing nourishing that skin okay you're going to put it everywhere even on your spots i know it feels like counterintuitive to put oil on spots but trust me this is going to do you some favors okay so we've got it on it's it feels you've got some slip because you need to for your massage so we're going to start off with firm pressure here you should be like me raising your eyebrows okay firm pressure going upwards okay Moving all them toxins out of the skin, out of the lymph, into the lymph nodes. And if you're doing this quite firmly, so you've got like that around your eyes, okay? If you're doing it quite firmly, it should feel quite relaxing. And you can keep this massage going as long as you want. If you're having a bad day, sit down, lie on the bed, keep going with the massage. You can pause my video, you can replay the massage bit. You know, whatever you want. Whatever we need to get through this crazy time. Okay, so again, we're lifting, lift out, lift out and you should be able to feel fluid under your cheeks moving out sculpting those cheeks okay and again god I look horrendous <laughs> okay and out and out okay and all these toxins that are going out are going into your lymph nodes and your body's going to naturally get rid of them through its waste system. But you must drink water after this. People think I just say that and they're like, oh, that's bull, you don't need to drink water. You do. When we're, when we're draining toxins as much as we are in this mini facial, 
you need to drink water or those toxins can become lodged and stuck and they're not going to drain properly and then you're going to feel like crap so you need to drink plenty of water because it helps your body drain them much faster and then you can have a wine tomorrow okay so here i'm literally just doing a scissor movement here quite firmly because underneath we've got all lymph nodes which can feel lumpy sometimes and swollen so we're just helping to drain that okay and pressure at the sides and finish so obviously you can increase um, the amount of time you want to spend massaging just pause the video but those of you that don't like faff I've got a client that says oh don't faff um, that's plenty and it will it will do what you want it to do it will lift tone shape your face nourish your skin cells and remove toxins so we want to get this oil um, we want to get this oil off before we put our mask on because our mask is full of hyaluronic acid it's full of nutrients and we don't want the oil acting as a barrier to our skin drinking that in so washing our hands using our hot cloths Okay, and just gently And if I wasn't videoing this I probably would Do a lot of this sat on the bed definitely the mask bit But just for practical reasons I'm stood up Okay, my skin feels really good. It feels soft, it feels clean, it feels rejuvenated, and I feel like, you know, oh, sucked in. Okay, so I'm using this, the glow mask. You will have probably perhaps a different mask in your kit. Um, they all work the same. It's got details on the back because the great thing about this is we can use it twice, maybe three times. Um, but probably twice if we're being hygienic. Okay, so we're going to take off, just literally rip it off. Then inside the bag, you'll see a lot of liquid at the bottom and you'll see a square like this. So just wring some of the liquid out back into the bag though. You don't want to lose this. It's um, really good stuff. You don't want to wring it out completely because you need it to still be a bit wet. So if it is too dry, pop it back in and redo it. So it should still be quite wet. Pop this on the side, the bag. Keep it upright. And you're going to stretch out this cloth. And this is where we look super fit. Okay, ready? It's going to be cool, cold. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much easier when you're lying down. Wow, what a hottie. Okay. You guys are okay. You, your, your facial session is not going on the internet. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, how good does that feel? I can't take myself seriously. Okay, this mask is full of hyaluronic acid. It's, um, I just can't take myself seriously. It's full of hyaluronic acid. And depending which mask you've got, it's also got other ingredients for your skin concerns. My skin concerns right now are acne scarring and uneven skin tone. This has got anti anti-pigmentation ingredients and obviously hyaluronic acid, extremely good for the skin. <clears throat> oh God, okay. At this point, you need to leave this on for 20 minutes. I'm not gonna sit here for 20 minutes just sort of rambling, annoying you. So I want you to pause your video. <laughs> I need to say this off. I want you to pause the video, 
with your mask on and go and lie down for 20 minutes. Okay, if you fall asleep, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you're gonna fold up your mask after and you'll pop it back in the bag. So pause me now for 20 minutes. Okay, hopefully you've had 20 minutes of pure relaxation and your skin is feeling amazing. Pop your mask back in the bag in all of that fluid, okay? You'll be able to use this. I'm gonna say once more um, because of hygiene reasons. We've not cut the skin today, so there's nothing, there's not gonna be any sort of bodily fluids on there. Um, so the best way to store this now is to salitate it so it doesn't dry out, salitape it up, leave it upright and just keep it in your bathroom, it doesn't need to go in the fridge or anything, and then use it tomorrow night or whenever, but it, it does need to be within 24 hours really, because for hygiene reasons. Um, but it's just a great little pick-me-up. I'll probably sit and relax with mine tonight when the kids are in bed, and I'll have a proper 20 minutes. Okay, so your skin may be a bit damp now, that's okay, um, just, Gently rub this in because I, I never want to take this off really because it's so good for the skin. You know, what's the point in taking it off? Let's just get it into the skin, okay? Bring it into the neck because obviously the neck wasn't really covered by the mask. Okay, yes, my skin feels good okay um next part is your sachet okay this is face cream the way it works snap it in half you only need tiny pea size amount the rest that's in here keep on your side for the next few days okay warm it in your hands onto the face smells amazing ultra calming and hydrating on the skin Oh, my skin feels beautiful. Okay, and if it's the daytime, if you're doing this in the morning, you then need to put your pot of SPF on because we need SPF 50 every day. A lot of people ask me why. This is because, not just for sun rays, but it helps give a protective barrier across the skin against wind, uh, air con, heating, pollution, you name it, it protects your skin. Um, I've had a couple of clients with rosacea who have started using SPF 50 and their rosacea has calmed down by about 70% just from changing that one thing. So it does work and it is needed. So if it's daytime and you're gonna be going out after this, I mean, not that we're going out much anywhere, but in the garden, put an SPF 50 on. If you're staying in, you're going to bed, just keep that as it is. I really hope you enjoyed that. You can re-watch the video again and use your own products, um, yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed it and leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Thank you.